Good morning. My name is Orna Klum. I am a judge for the honey, uh, the apiary products here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. With me is Paige uh, Ryan. She is the 2023 Pennsylvania Honey Queen. So I'd like to welcome her. She's helping me today. We are judging the molded honey products right now. So that's what we have here on the table. And uh, what we do when we're uh, judging these products, of course, is they are all wax products, fully wax products. We ask in the rules that at some somewhere on this that we can see the, the wax so that we can judge the color and the uniformity and every so we know that it is wax and there's no other products in here. So what these are, these are molded by Pennsylvania beekeepers and then painted. They can either paint them completely and leave the bottom open again so we can see the wax or they can incorporate the paint in the wax. So this is one of the um, items that we do judge. What we're looking for here is of course beauty, um, uniformity. We're looking to see that of course we do see the wax, that it smells good. Yeah, we love that. We love to, uh, mm -hmm. to smell the wax. Um, and that the colors are appropriate for the scheme that is on the uh, waxed item. Now, uh, before we get into this, I will show you some of the other items that we judge here. Uh, we judge blocks of wax. Now these blocks of wax uh, do have to be at a minimum three pounds. Um, we judge for uniformity, we judge for color, we judge for smell. Um, these are the things primarily that we judge. The block wax, they do have to be at least three pounds. Then we, of course, the molded uh, wax items, which are beautiful, um, not painted, they are just molded, and they'll be judged on um, the cleanliness of the item. Obviously, the edges, we wanna see the edges are nice. The wax has to be uniform. It has to be uh, clean, no dirt uh, in the wax items. Some of the other things that we do wax, uh, we do uh, judge, I'll bring them over here, are, uh, candles. We have tapered candles. Now I do want to mention something nice uh, that's different in wax is that these candles, how white they are, that's actually new wax. Uh, the way uh, beekeepers can tell if the bees are creating new wax or using old wax is by the color. So this very, very light color is probably this year's fresh wax. These are molded candles. So you can see they have tapers, they're molded. We will take them out of course, and we'll judge them for uniformity and that they're both uh, the same. One of the funner things that we get to judge here um, as the apiary product judges are the frames. So what you see here are handmade boxes, uh, primarily handmade boxes that have frames inside them. Now, we know that bees, of course, do everything right and correct. What we're judging is the beekeepers uh, view of what the bees are producing. So we're looking for uniformity. These are honey. These are honey frames. So we are looking for um, uh, a smoothness that they were capped uh, by the bees. So the beekeeper would know that. Uh, we're looking for no leaks. So we know that it is capped honey. The, the honey is ready to take. Um, uncapped honey will actually ferment. So that is not honey that we want to take from the bees. So the boxes are all different. As I said, they're all um, handmade, so they're beautiful in themselves. But that is something else that we also judge here in the wax. So uh, if we wanna go back to the painted, which is what we're looking at right now, we'll walk over here. Now we also look at the uniqueness of the, uh, of the wax products that we're, that we're looking at. Of course, the paint job, which are really beautiful on here. So um, I don't want to um, actually judge one on, on camera, um, but I will tell you that uh, they all look beautiful and, uh, and I'm, we're looking forward to, to judging them. And I want to thank you all for listening to us today and uh, come to the farm show. It's a great opportunity to learn different things about different products that we produce in Pennsylvania.